Today, we are gonna talk about, like I mentioned, Good Friday. And we're gonna talk about what Good Friday is and why we dedicate an entire day every year thinking about it and whether or not it really is a good day. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is sin. What is sin? If you guys think you know what it is, go ahead and shout out the answer or tell the people that you're with, your brother, your sister, mom, or dad, talk about real quick, what is sin? So that's right, sin is the things that we do or even the choices that we make that separate us from God. Yikes, I don't think I ever want to be separated from God. Now, here's what I want you to do really, really quick. I wanna practice this. Go ahead and stand up and stand on one side of the room that you're in, all the way against the wall or as far as you can. Now, using all of your strength, using all of your muscle, I want you to jump all the way to the other side of the room. See if you can hit the other side of the wall. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go. All right, so how did you do? Now my guess is you probably couldn't make it all the way to the other side of the room, all on your own in just one jump. Go ahead and grab a seat, pull out your Bible, and we're gonna open up to Romans 3.23. And here's what Romans says. It says, all people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. And guys, we have all sinned and we continue to do so. We all disobey God. We cannot get to God all on our own. Just like a few seconds ago, you couldn't jump across the room all on your own in one jump. Now that is why Jesus came to die for our sins. We need him so that we can be with God. Now, Good Friday. Good Friday is the day that Jesus died on the cross. Maybe you've heard this story many, many times, but as a believer in Jesus, this is such an important day. This is the day that we became free from the weight of our sin and we were given new life in Jesus, which is great news. This was the day that God showed his great love for us by giving up his one and only son so that we could live. That is the good in Good Friday. Now, before Jesus was put on the cross many years ago on this particular day, Jesus sat in a garden alone and he prayed. It was night, it was cool outside, he was alone and he was praying down on his knees. That's right, you guys, even Jesus, who is God, who is the human form of God, he prayed to God, his father, just like we do today. Now, Jesus knew exactly what his reason was for being here. He knew why he was sent here. God sent him here because he knew his job on this earth was to die for us, to die for you and to die for me. As Jesus prayed, he cried out to God in the garden. Jesus actually cried tears and he wept for what was going to happen. But Jesus wanted to obey God above anything else and he knew that there was absolutely no other way. Now, while Jesus was praying alone, some soldiers came and they arrested Jesus and they took him out of the garden and they forced him out and they took him to a crowd of people. And those, those people in that crowd, they would be the ones to decide whether or not Jesus would be put to death on the cross. And here's the truth, Jesus did nothing wrong. But even though Jesus did absolutely nothing wrong, those people still shouted and screamed that Jesus should die. Still though, Jesus knew, and we know, this was all part of God's plan. After those people decided what would happen, Jesus was taken through the streets. He was paraded in front of people who disliked him. He was made fun of, people spit on him, and people hurt him. But all that time, Jesus, you know, he could have been thinking about so many other things. He could have been thinking about, how do I get out of this? How do I hurt those people, how they're hurting me? He could have used his power to escape, but he didn't do any of that. In those moments where he was in pain, the only thing Jesus was thinking about was you. Jesus was thinking about his love for you and how desperately he wants you and Jesus' love is so much bigger and so much stronger than any of those people's words. Here's what I want you guys to do with me. I want you to go ahead and grab your piece of paper and I want you to grab the thing that you brought to write with. 
And now, when we talk about being real, being honest with ourselves and with God and with others, one of the most important things that we can do in that is be honest about the sin in our lives. We talked about sin. It's that thing that separates us from God, that pushes us away. It makes us disobedient to God. And I know that we want to be so close to Him. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to confess, I want you to write down or even draw a sin that maybe right now is in your life. Maybe it's something you struggled with. Maybe it's something you've recently done or something, even a thought that you've been struggling with. Whatever it is that you feel is maybe keeping you from being as close as you can to God, I want you to write that down and then together we're gonna say sorry for that. This is also called asking for forgiveness. And together we are gonna ask for forgiveness for something that we've done wrong. So I want you guys to take a minute like I said, draw or write what that thing is. Take as much or as little time as you need. I'm gonna write something too. If you guys need to pause this, go ahead and do so. If you guys are doing this as a family, do it together. Go ahead and write down what you have to say. All right, as you guys go ahead and finish up what you wrote or what you draw, I want you to take that paper, I want you to crumple it up, and I want you to throw it out in front of you. Now, as you do that, here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine that Jesus is in front of you, and I want you to imagine that you are throwing that sin, you are throwing that paper, and you are throwing it in front of Jesus, and out loud with me right now, I want you to say, I'm sorry, Jesus. Go ahead and say it. I'm sorry, Jesus. You guys, I want to go back to the Bible. In 1 John 1, 9, the Bible says, but if we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. We can trust God. He does what is right. He will make us clean from all the wrongs we have done. God makes us clean through Jesus' death on the cross, you guys. Jesus was nailed to a cross. And like I said before, through all of the pain and the suffer and the horrible things that happened on that cross, Jesus not once stopped thinking about you. Even up to the moment when he took his last breath on the cross, everything went silent. Those that watched Jesus die, those that loved Jesus, they cried. And Jesus' time on earth was now over. If we go back to the Bible, this may be a verse that you guys have heard so many times, but I want you to really listen to the power in this verse. This is the gospel. This is the truth of God and who Jesus is. And this is so important for you to know, and I want you to believe it. I'm gonna read it two times so you guys can really soak it in. John 3:16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. God gave his son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. Did you guys hear that? Let's read it one more time. John 3.16 says this, For God loved the world so much, that means that he loved you so much, that God gave up his only son, his one and only son named Jesus. He gave him up and gave him to us. God gave his son Jesus so that whoever, that's any of you, anyone, who wants to believe in him will not be lost, but they will have eternal life with him. God sent his son to die so that you and I would have forever life with God and never be separated from him. That is what makes Good Friday so good. Now, you guys remember that piece of paper you crumpled up? Whatever sin you wrote down, whatever sin you drew, my challenge for you today, after this, I want you to share that sin with someone that you trust, someone that you love, which is probably someone in your home right now, someone in your family, and I want you to pray with that person. Together, you guys can thank God for the chance to be with him, for the chance that you have to be forgiven through Jesus, and then I want you to take that paper and I want you to throw it away. I want you to drench that paper in water until it disintegrates and disappears. I want you to get rid of that paper however you want, and what you can remember is that Jesus took away our sins. 
It's true that Jesus died on Good Friday, but that is not where the story ends. Jesus doesn't stay dead. He shows up and he proves that he is stronger than death. Now, here's the great thing. You guys can hear the rest of this story this weekend on sandalskids.tv. And here's what we're gonna find out. We are gonna find out the amazing and great news that Jesus is alive. And we're gonna shout that out together. Now you're probably wondering, how is that possible? I just heard about his death on the cross. How is he still alive? But I'm telling you, it happened. And we're gonna learn all about that during our Get Real Easter series over the next three weeks. All right, you guys, what I would love to do is just pray over you for a moment as we um, heard a heavy story that may make you sad, but I want you to remember there is great news in it. So I want us to pray real quick as we prepare our hearts for Easter. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes with me? Father God, you are so, so good. Lord, your love is so big for us and it is so true, God. Father, we thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to this earth so that we have a chance to be with you forever. And God, we are so grateful that even now we can communicate with you through prayer. Um, Father, I ask that we would be surrounded by people that we can share honest stuff with, that we can confess our sins with, God, and that we always remember we can come to you to ask for forgiveness knowing that you will always forgive, knowing that you always love us no matter what, God. And I ask that that would be so true that every single person watching right now would hear that truth above anything else, that they are loved by you, they are known by you, and you want them to draw so close to you, God. Father, I ask that our hearts would just be prepared for Easter as we celebrate this amazing news that you brought life through your son Jesus, not only for us, but that he defeats death and we get to hear that story, God. Thank you for these amazing things, Father. We love you so much, and we pray these things in your son Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we talked about Good Friday. And for more to do, you guys can click on the download link below for an activity page with some questions to talk about with your family and an activity. And don't forget, hang out with us on sandalskids.tv the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, and we are gonna kick off our Get Real Easter series and we get to hear some really, really awesome news. I love you guys and we'll see you next time.